What's up guys, I'm Simon Sanes and today I'm going to show you how to get a huge drum sound using Get Good Drums Modern and Massive. Welcome guys, now I'm going to show you how to get that huge drum sound. Even though I recorded this in a very small studio, if you like the video, please subscribe. And without further ado, let's dive right into it. What I always do is that I mix my drums. Even the tracks I know I'm going to put samples on, I always mix them. So this is how the drums sound having them mixed, no samples. To me that sounds pretty decent to be in a small drum room with my equipment as it's not in a real studio or anything. So what I do now is that I use this plugin from Steven Slate called Trigger. Modern Massive comes with TCI files that goes directly into Trigger and it's so easy to use and load in. For the kick drum I took uh, the kick out and I wanted to add a sample to that microphone. So what I always do is that I select whatever kick drum I want to use. I went for the Q Drum Co Steel 2416 and I basically used all of the microphones that came with it. Uh, what I do is that I put a just a little bit of the direct mic to get a little bit of the transient uh, and a lot of the room mics. It just sounds so good. So it, a little bit of the kick drum and that all in all turns into this massive thingy. What's important here and why I always mix the drums first is because I always just blend it with the original microphone instead of using it 100% and like take over the entire sound. To me that always sounds a little bit too much like it's a sample. Yeah, so let's hear it with nothing and then to 100 and then back to 50. So nothing. To me that sounds more natural because you can kind of hear all the sounds in between my kick drum hits. For the snare drum I use the Guru Paduk snare, uh, same settings, a little bit of the direct, a lot of the uh, room mics and a little bit of the overhead and then it just sounds so explosive. I just put all the room mics from every snare and just press each one of them to see which one I like the best. Uh, another one of my favorites here is the Pearl Vinnie Paul. Sounds so good. Uh, definitely check that one out for huge sounding drums. <laughs> Man. Uh, the snare again sounds like this. Just love, love how those blend together. Uh, I've done exactly the same on the tall microphones. Sounds so good with the snare as well. I love it, sounds so good. I've uh, added a little bit more of the room mics. Listen to this with the sample mics on and the room mics on, nothing else is on. Sounds so massive, it's so cool. And then everything blended. I really recommend that if you have a small drum room like I have, 
get some cheap uh, room microphones. Uh, the ones I have are like $10 each. Uh, and they're so nice. I have them placed all the way up back here. And they, they sound like this. And together with the third room mic. so important for a room like this to make your drums sound so much bigger even like i'm saying no matter how small your room is uh, get some room mics and put them as as far away as possible and your drums will sound so much bigger right now modern massive is 89 dollars at getgooddrums.com uh, you should definitely check it out it's one of the best sounding libraries i've ever heard they sound huge so thanks to matt misha nolly and everyone in the get good team for making a fantastic drum library i recommend everyone getting it it's so so awesome uh, it comes with tci files and it comes for the contact player so yeah have a good one thanks for watching and uh, let's get into it Thank you.